Wow, what an amazing kitchen. An incredible stove. Looks like it's made from some mud and some bricks. But it's huge and then you make little holes for the pots to fit inside. Like, wow. Isn't that just super beautiful? And then the view from the kitchen. Wow. This is hostel number two in the, oh, look at all those potatoes. Give me those and all those eggs. This is hostel number two in the something valley. What's this? No, <coughs> Colca Canyon in Peru. Here's the dining area. Oh, look at that, fancy plastic chairs. That's nice. All the way over there is my friend. She's having a little bit of me, th me time while a dog approaches her. That's not her dog, she's never seen it before. But she's probably talking to it a lot. Maybe a piece of the old house, if there were such a thing, around these here parts. Trees here are avocado trees. This one, this one, um, yeah, it's fairly similar. I guess it's also avocado. This one's more like an apple or a pear tree, but it's not an apple. Something like that, I'm, I'm thinking. Or these two are the same, they're like lime or oranges, something citrusy, definitely. Oh, look at this, there we go. It's some sort of an orange, a yellow orange. They have Wi-Fi, but they won't share the password. Well, yeah, so they have Wi-Fi. They don't want to share the password, that's fine. That's their choice. I have... Don't tell anybody. Eucalyptus leaves. Uh, up there is the entrance. And... That's the entrance over there. Oh, let's have a, let's check out my cribs. MTV Cribs. It's three euro a night per person, not including anything. And this is how it looks. It's pretty decent, I mean, for three euro. It doesn't have any electricity in the room though, so that's kind of a little bit strange. But it has these curtains and they have a, a string to pull them. Oh, look at that view, pretty decent. Wow, it's really decent actually, I didn't see that before. Okay. Well, and then we have uh, these flowers outside. And they of course have a name, and the name will contain letters, and if we were to do a Google, we would discover information about these flowers. Um, fascinating flower altogether, when you know all those facts about it. And look at this sheer cliff face here, that's like, kilometers above where I am at this moment. Also, a mere five minute walk away and I can, oh, let's check out the banyos, the toilets if you will. They don't have hot water and that's fine. I've been in some hot water waterfalls and stuff already today. Had a bit of a wash. So there you go, it's fine. That's how it looks. It's basic and it's exactly what you'd expect for three euro in the middle of nowhere. This is not even a village, it's just couple of people who have put accommodation here. Uh, let's see, which way will we go? Sure, go down the stairs. Here is some sort of a tree. And I think I've seen that before, but I'm not sure. It's a bit figgy, actually, but I don't think it is. And uh, some guy, that's the path to the river. Apparently the river is between five and 10 minutes away. If, um, depending on who you ask, it's all downhill as well. I would have gone to the river except for that. Oh, um, I've been on a lot of rivers already today. So, Maybe later or in the morning. Hmm. What's this? 
I guess we'll never know. I guess nobody knows. Okay, well that's the place. There's a field of cactus. I wonder what they use them for. They definitely use them for something because it's quite clearly a field of them. Some Spanish moss over here. I love this stuff. It's, it's a weed. But it's beautiful. It's more like a parasite because it will grow on a tree or somebody. Somebody stands still long enough, it'll grow on them too. And it'll just grow on them until they're covered in it. And if you're a tree and you use light for photosynthesis and then you can't get any more sunlight, well then you die. So like a parasite will fuck with its host until the host dies. And then the parasite will die too. I wonder if this smells good. No, it does not. Okay.